Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today, what are we going to be talking about? Well, first of all, there was a panel in the New York, in New York City, for an anime New York. Um, there was a panel for Figo where they announced a whole bunch of things for Thanksgiving, and a bunch of other campaigns that I'm going to go into right here. So basically, then they took down that live stream for some reason I don't know but thankfully people on the reddit side and people everywhere were able to take a bunch of screenshots of it so I'm going to go over the campaign details that is coming up for the Fugo Thanksgiving special 2023 as well as some other stuff that they talked about that it's going to go into December and that's going to be today's video so let's go right into it right here we have the campaign details the folk Thanksgiving special 2023 uh, it contains the Thanksgiving Special 2023 Special Cured Login Bonus, the Master Missions Added Limited Time, the All Emperor Gathering and Training Ground Daily Quest AP Cost 1 half Limited Time, 2 times Chance of Super and Great Success on Enhancement Limited Time, a Spirits and Dress Wardrobe Key from Akasa Shiro added to the Dress Making into Da Vinci Workshop, and then Extreme Difficulty is going to be added to the Training Ground Quests. So let's go into some things, something, other things that they mentioned here that was not mentioned beforehand. So let me look right here. The Fago Thanksgiving Special 2023. Um, there will be a special cured login bonus. When you're holding a special cured login bonus to celebrate the Fago Thanksgiving Special 2023, log in three times once per day during the time period below to receive one silver fruit, one golden fruit, one summon ticket, three sand quartz, and I don't know what comes next after this. <laughs> Uh, let me see, and is it this? And then log in three times once per day during the login period to receive three Fago Thanksgiving Special 2023 Limited Craft Essences. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's go on to another campaign thing. This, okay, so they actually announced the pickup summon for Thanksgiving. Uh, 14 servants, including 9 limited time servants, will be available for pickup and 7 pickup summons. And as you can see here, a lot of them are related to Apocrypha. <laughs> Almost all of them. They took the Apocrypha banner and then swapped out some of the um, non-limited Apocrypha units and put in someone else. So let's go over them. For Saber, it's Astolfo, uh, Christmas Astolfo or Bunny Astolfo. For Archer, it's Summer Jean. For Alter Ego, it's Kiara. For Ruler, it's Shiro. For Assassin, it is Semiramis. For Foreigner, it is Abigail. For Assassin, it's Kama. And then there's a bunch of SRs that are all from Fate Apocrypha. So the final total is, is that I was able to guess one, two, three of them correctly, and then my brother was able to guess one, so he will be the one playing Mr. Bones at a later date, probably maybe around Thanksgiving. We'll figure it out. Um, and yeah, I saw at least one person, and I've seen a couple other people make this randomly too, that they find it was maybe a mistake, or maybe it was not a mistake is not the right word, but it was kind of like... <laughs> dropping by free money if you made all of Thanksgiving Apocrypha related and I can kind of understand the idea behind it the units from Apocrypha I think have a fan base and are loved but Apocrypha itself is not actually that loved I still think that the fate uh, the Fago storyline for Apocrypha is better than actual Apocrypha um, it's not very good, at least from the anime that I saw that made me angry. So I can kind of understand the idea and then like you're wasting a lot of slots on Apocrypha related servants as well, as opposed to going for maybe a little bit more Fago related, more popular units. But that being said, Astolfo and Jean and for some reason Amakasu are very, very popular and I think Samiramis has enough dedicated fans to herself as well. So it doesn't, it, it's not all bad. Plus they did sprinkle in three unrelated Apocrypha units that are very popular with the Alter Ego version of Kiara and uh, Abigail, which my brother did mention beforehand is that Abigail has shown up a decent amount on Thanksgiving and uh, Kama, which makes sense because Kama is also very popular. So it's an interesting group of people. I think they could have definitely gone harder this year, but I think because they skipped Apocrypha, 
that was a sign that it was probably going to be mostly for Thanksgiving. But hey, maybe next year is the one we'll get the super crazy banner filled with hype units. But for now, I'm just glad that I can skip this. I have all the big ones I have. The only one that would make me slightly interested is maybe Archer Jean, and that's only because she's a summer unit. I would actually have no reason to ever use her at all. I already have an AoE um, Archer that I can use, I think. Anyway, that's the banner. Moving on. If you want more sp specific focus, look at the units. I will release that later, but for now, let's move on. The Fago Thanksgiving Special 2023. These are the master missions added for a limited time. So complete these and then you'll get upwards to one sync quartz each. So complete a main quest progress note in part one and part two. Do that up to three times. Complete any training quest. So get, do that three times and you'll get one quartz for the three times, so that's three quarts. Complete any training grounds quest five times. Complete any ember gathering quest five times. We'll give you one and one, so that's two. Defeat three servants. Defeat 30 enemies, excluding servants. Defeat five wild beast enemies. Put one or more earth servants on your party and complete any quest three times, and then complete all Thanksgiving master missions. Very easy. <laughs> An easy 10 free sync quartz. Boom. Next. The Fago Thanksgiving Special 2023, all Ember Gathering and Training Grounds, the Daily Quest AP cost will be half off. And then there's also a two, pan, two times chance of Super and Great Sucks in, in Enhancement. Shiro's Spirit Undress is also coming back. Woo. So if you have Shiro and you weren't able to do his Phantom Thief thing, you can get it now. Um, they're adding the extreme difficulty to the daily training grounds quest, which is the best way to do the daily training grounds things, I believe. Um, this is the one I think this is the implementation of the plus plus difficulty, which will require, I think, a little bit different team building, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I'll have to experience it myself to know. Again, I didn't keep up <laughs> too crazy up to date with what plus plus. I knew that once plus plus difficulty is added, it changes a lot of things in terms of how people kind of viewed grinding and team building in some aspects. So I'll be interested to try it out and kind of experience it firsthand. If you have a little bit more info, feel free to share it. But that's basically as much as I know. Um, there's an interlude campaign starting on from 1126 to, I guess, the end of it. Uh, interlude campaign, which will feature Hokusai and Galatea, uh, and they will include pick up in two summons. So that means there's also going to be banners for Hokusai and Galatea. But I think that already actually wasn't 100% sure on this campaign. I didn't know. But anyway, that's coming up. So for all you big Hokusai fans and you singular big pant loving Galatea fans, this is your chance. Again, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that they're a big fan of Galatea, but if you are, feel free to tell me. I, at this point, I like gathering people who are into the offbeat servants. Anyway, Advent Calendar 2023. We're excited to spend the season with all Masters again this year, and so we're going to be getting the Advent Calendar again. Um, log in during the campaign period to receive one surprise present every day. A uh, different present will be available each day. I assume it will be very similar to the last one. Maybe we should look at the advents of how they've done it beforehand and see what we can expect. But I wouldn't expect anything crazy like a free 4-star or 5-star ticket or something like that. It will be at least 30 quarts by the end of it. The upcoming event was confirmed, which is Martha. Martha Santa, which you'll be able to get. And since they're already in December, that's right. The Tungska Sanctuary was confirmed which we know is coming, and this will be late December, and you have until late December to get Lost Belt 6 done. <laughs> um, there will be a story clear campaign, which you can see right here that they mentioned. Um, uh, clear Lost Belt 6 Section 1 will give you 6 quarts, and then clearing Lost Belt 6 Section 30 will get you a lore, and then the main quest uh, for Chapter 2 will have its AP cost half limited. Um, you can buy the, the Fago soundtrack coming up soon. $40, but it features like 61 tracks. So, mm, there you go. For some reason, they <laughs> talked about Ryoma, which is an ongoing event, but sure, they do that. And then this is the new feature, which is English subtitles will be added to the skills or command codes during battles. Um, 
which is a very cool feature that we should have gotten many, many, many years ago. I've had so many sermons, I've had no idea what the hell they were saying for so long. And it's fine, I'm glad to finally get it. I'm looking forward to it. And looking forward to all the mistakes that will likely be in the text as well, as is NA tradition. But I think that's basically it. That's as far as the Reddit showed, I think, for um, campaigns related to it. And yeah, that's going to be for Thanksgiving. Um, I will try and do videos a little bit later on. It's very late for me right now, which is why also why I'm being very quiet right now. Really wasn't expecting them to announce. I forgot about this, the, the stream today. If I had known, I would have watched the stream, so I would have been better known. And then when I went to go look for the stream, it was taken down. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm doing my best picking up the pieces, but that's what you can expect uh, for it going forward. The best of luck to you um, if you do end up summoning on that Thanksgiving banner. And if you don't, well, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Hopefully eating it and spending with family. But if you're not with family and you're by yourself, then, you know, hey, enjoy yourself as well. And enjoy, give thanks. You don't need family to give thanks. You can be thankful for anything. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. I'll be back for more videos talking at length about the upcoming um, Thanksgiving banner to say how it is. I can tell you, if you just want a quick rundown of what, the, what units I think are actually worth potentially going for, it is Archer, Jean, Kiara, um, Kama, and then Abigail. And then the rest are, if you are a big fan of, I might be being a little bit too harsh on Shiro. I'm going to have to reread his info, but I also remember a lot of people liking them. And for Astolfo, Semi Ramos, I just don't know enough. I need to re educate myself on what they do. And for the SRs, uh, no comment. They are SRs. So I think, wait, Ryder Mo, Summer Mo is coming. The Summer Mo is very good. If you can somehow get Summer Mo, she's one of the best writing. Uh, damn it, this isn't safe for the video. But there you go. I'll add her. I didn't forget. I looked at the list and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. And then I said, Mordred, SR. No, no, no. That's a huge, huge one for sure. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back for that later video coming up later. But I'll probably save it for sometime Monday. Just because... Uh, it's a little bit weird for me to re record during the weekends, or at least I think it's weird to record during the weekends. But anyway, and I have to work Sunday, later today. It's weird. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, peace out. Bye.